Hello guys, mko salama, tuko salama, niko hapa hivi na Mungai Eve, tuko na wase wengi sana, tuko na Swift Media, Binka TV na Plug TV. Na Don Africa hapa. Don Africa Production. Tumekuja kupiga story na nani hapa? Na Justina Siokao, aka Madam 2020, Madam Spangwingwi. Madam Chapa Ilale. Mm -hmm. Nini na Chapa Ilale? <laughs> <laughs> ni kazi. Ukinipa kazi nafanya vizuri, sifanyi madogodhanyo. Mm -hmm. eh. Leona umerudi hizi eyebrows. Nila kuna mtu alikomenta kasema unavaa cheap eyebrows. No, I do lashes from New York. Mm. Yeah. Ah, does it eyebrows? I lashes. Lashes, wow. yes. I know it's lashes what which you're referring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it from New York? Yeah. Kama is even I import. Up. I import. When they come here in Kenya, I sell in the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, Tunauza na 3,000. Kuna za 5,000. Mm -hmm. Kama hizi nimeweka ni za 6K. Mm -hmm. mm. Na utaeka alafu utoe? Uh, nikitoa, uneza rudia mara mingi. Mm -hmm. mm. Kama hizi nimerudia mara, um, like uh, now is uh, 12 time. Mm -hmm. So ukinunua ni zinaka. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kuba It's watu. worth it the 6,000. Yeah. Kwa watu wanasema unarudia, una uh, unavaa eyelashes cheap, uneza wambia nini? Uh, mi siyezi vaa kitu cheap kwa sababu mini msani, natengeneza ela, natengeneza ela mingi. Pia mi ni designer, kama vile unaona hili vazi ni metengeneza. Mm -hmm. Mi napata pesa. Mm -hmm. Kwa nini ni vaa kitu cheap ama ni, ni vaa lashes cheap? Siyezi vaa lashes cheap. Okay. I don't like cheap things. I'm a classy, elegant girl. Mm -hmm. And I'm very expensive girl. Ah. Nataka tuingie deep into <laughs> conversation now because uh, you are here yes. for album ya Size 8. Size 8 Reborn. Uh, is she your, your, your friend? She is my friend. Part? She is my friend and I love her so much and she knows that. I love Size 8 because when she came out of Sekila, she have maintained to stay in God. And also now she is a pastor. She is a reverend. She is a reverend. Now she is preaching in Dika, and I believe that she is going to preach in all the Kenya. So is it wherever place you are going to watch this video. I want you to know that we love what you are doing, and I pray that you're going to continue preaching and reach a lot of people who are, a lot of people need your testimony. You have a legit testimony, and uh, your testimony will heal a lot of people. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. ngependa kujua, because you are here, uko wapa ndani sasa. Yes. Hapo tuko kwa event ya... Size 8. Size 8. Na wameni alika. Justina siyo kawa madam 2020 ya kwa wapa. Mm, yes. Official crashi wa Rington Apoko. <laughs> Rington Apoko is here. Have you guys interact? Atuja interact juu alikuja mbele angu. Alikuja mbele angu. Mm -hmm. Na juu amevaa white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Umejua aja amevaa white? Uh, crashi wako throughout. You have to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But ya yeah, meungia kasema bado natafta mtu. Na mtu mwenye naeza manage kumpenda. Yani within the night by kesho atampea yeah. biggest surprise ndege uh, mi nataka kuambia rington bado nampenda na kitu cha kwanza ni kwamba ache kuniruka kipetero kiyesu kwa sababu nampenda na najua mimi ndio namtoshea kwa sababu mimi na rington energy yetu ni the same na kitu kingine ni msanii ambaye napenda kazi yake naweza penda kufanya pia collabo na ye. Uh, apart from collabo he is handsome and tall, and he is rich. Nilisikia juzi ya kisema ameishiwa, nataka kumbaka up with money, mm -hmm. ili asiseme hiyo statement tena, mm -hmm. asiniangushe, asiambie watu ameishiwa. No, 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 that is not what I expect from him. Mm -hmm. I expect him to be going ahead, being successful, mm -hmm. more and more. Mm -hmm. So, mimi, bado na mpenda Rington, na Rington ni mtu mzuri. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's, uh, uh, na nataka kumuish. Happy Valentine, Rington. Happy Valentine. <laughs> Na kupenda sana from ukambani. Na siogopi mtu. Yes. Rington, rington najua ya kwamba hata nitosheleza. Kikwanza, one is an artist. He, is, he has been in music better. He has been in music many years than me. Mi nimekuwa kwa mziki 13 years. Ya yeah, mekuwa more than 20 years in music. So anaelewa sana kitu yenye nafanya. So kublent na ye ni raisi. Yes. Kesho ni Valentine. Kesho ni Valentine. Ye yeah, ndo Valentine wako? Ya, yeah, kesho ni ye ni Valentine wangu. Aki propose ni takubali. Kwa nini si mkubali na ni mzuri? Ule mwanaume ni mzuri. Kile sijui ni kwamba, sijui kama anatosha mboga kitandani. Hiyo ndutu ndo sijui. Kwa sababu si unajua ni meoko kasi yezi kakua mziko before marriage. So, hiyo tundo sijui. Yeah. Kuna maana ujawai kugawa, kugawa mzigo? Sijagawa mzigo. Kuna watu niliona online. Ah, na saini nine. Mm -hmm. eh, saini nine years. Yeah. You've been nine years. Yeah, I've been alone mm -hmm. for nine years. Mm. Okay. 
Kwa nini nakaa peke yangu kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza nilikuwa married okay. na tukaachana na mume wangu na nikasema ni vizuri nijipe break kidogo kwa sababu nina mtoto ili ule mtoto ni mlee kwanza sasa saa hii mtoto wangu saa hizi anaelekea hiyo 9 years una understand so saa hii ako na 8 years hata mimi niko 8 years hapa nje so tu, hii ni mwaka wa 9 sasa tuko hapa nje so saa hii ndio nina corona ikafanya nikajua niko tu feelings zikarudi Unajua corona ilifanya nikakaa kwa nyumba. Mimi ni mama biashara, mimi ni mama wa haraka haraka. So nilikuwa natoka kila siku ni kurudi usiku kwa muka mapema. Na kama mwanamke kama ajachokozo uwezi jisikia kitu. Sasa wakati wa corona sunajua, hata ukiu ujachokozo unajisikiza kwa nyumba, loko da ndo hiyo, kafi ndo hiyo, unakaa kwa nyumba masa mengi. Sasa nikaanza kusikia feelings merudi. Na bibili nasema ukiwa na moto olewa ama oa. So moto umeamuka, lazima uzimwe. Au sio? <laughs> Moto upo mm -hmm. na mtu mwenye atanipenda nitalia. Mm -hmm. Mimi nataka tu kulilishwa na mapenzi, mm -hmm. sitaki kulilishwa na violence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Unataka kulilia wapi? Dubai ama hapa uh, Kenya? <laughs> Dubs. Mm -hmm. Popote pale. Hata hapa Kenya tunaweza pendana na ika mm -hmm. e, lakini nataka mwanaume mwenye anaweza maisha, mwenye ni tajiri. Kwa sababu mwanaume tajiri uh, Atuta kuwa na rangos mingi. Wanaume wenye wana pesa unasumbuana na yes sana. Kwa sababu broke men wakati mwingi ni sex tu. So wakuangi na bidi ya kufikiria what else. They think about bedroom matters peke yake. Nataka mwanaume mwenye anafikiria vile tunaeza invest. Mwanaume ambaye tunaeza kulisha watoto. Mwanaume responsible mwenye anaeza leta chakula nyumbani. Sio mwanaume mwenye ananiachilia mimi ni kue responsible. So mimi saizi in the next marriage I don't want to, to be the responsible person. Yani sitaki kuwa na, na, na jiekelea responsibility. Mm -hmm. In your previous marriage kwa ni wendo luku na take all the responsibility? Ule jamali kwa na acha 20 bob na anafanya kazi. Na ni mtu na mweshimu, ni mtu anayeshimiwa sana, ni mtu mkubwa hapa Kenya, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Lakini ule mwanaume alikuwa humanizer. So unakuta anaenda hapa kule, anaenda hapa kule. I'm sorry to get married by a humanizer, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any red flag and also hako wana provide. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Niliteseka sana kwa ndoa yangu, nilikuwa na chapwa sana. Tena alinitua kazi, nikawa naenda kuchotea watu maji kule nyumbani kwao. Mm -hmm. Tena kunitua kazi, nili, alinikuta nikiimba. Nilikuwa nafanya kijabe hospital kazi. So nikarudi nyuma ukapata siezi enda kuimba, siezi enda kuperform kwa sabu. Yani ndoa imekuwa na rangos mingi. Wakati relationship inakuwa distracted, hakuna kitu naeza fanya. Naeza ambia wale ambao mko hapo inche, mko na valentine, nataka kuwa wish happy valentine, all the couples. And I can tell the men who are beating their wives. Wale ambao wa, wako na violence nyumbani. Mwanamuke ukitaka kupatie tendo la ndoa vizuri. Usimpatie makofi. Mwanamuke ukitaka kuwe na peaceful katika ndoa. Usimpatie makofi. Violence is not important. And if there is somebody who is listening me, na unachapwa kila siku, toka kwa hilo ndoa. I'm not sifunji ndoa, lakini mtu atoke kwa hilo ndoa. Sio vizuri uvumilie mtu. Maisha ya kuvumilia tuachane nayo. Tutavumilia umaskini na tuvumilia vitu zingine? Hapana. So, ndoa isikuwe ya kuvumilia. Ndoa inapaswa kwa enjoyable. Marriage is supposed to be there, to be enjoyable, not ya kuvumilia. E, kwa sababu watu wengi wanavumilia ndoa hata wengine hawapati tendo la ndoa kwa nyumba kwa sababu mwanaume anakwambia oh unanuka wengine wanaona uko na kitambi watu wana reasons mingi zenye wanasema wakati ulioa ule dada alikuwa amenyooka alikuwa mzuri so mvumilia wakati amekuletea watoto kwa sababu watoto wakikuja belly fat inakuja baby fat inakuja na inaleta kitambi so wanaume wanapaswa kuangalia bibi yangu kama ako na kitambi mpeleke gym Mpeleke gym, penda mpensi wako mpeleke gym. Mimi naeza sema ya kwamba, hata kama wewe si tajiri, kuwa tajiri kiakili. Kuwa tajiri kiakili, ekeza iyo brain yako, idea zenye mungu amekupatia ziekeze kwa matendo. Enda utafute biashara kidogo ufanyi. Usikuwe mwanaume lezi. Kuna wanaume lezi sana. Na kuna wanaume emotional. Ni wakupiga wanawake tu makofi. Awana, awana kitu kingine. Na kuna sex man, ule mwanaume tu wakikitandani, hata haendi kutafuta kazi. Mukitoka muende job, anarudi kulala. Ana kitu kingine cha kufanya. So naeza sema ya kwamba usikuwe mami's boy, usikuwe mwanaume wa kusumbua bibi yako ni mama yangu ndo anajua kupika vizuri, mama yangu ndo anajua kuweka pesa, usikuwe mami's boy. In a relationship it is two of you. You're supposed to decide with your wife. You're supposed to love your wife, to love your girl. To love your girl. Mwaga hiyo mapenzi kwa weo msichana. Na weo msichana reciprocate. Kuna wanawake nasikia wanakataza waume wao. Wata ni kwambie funzo. Mtu wangu, wakati unakataza, juu ya kwamba huku inje kuna wanawake wengi. Na si watu watu wameokoka kama Justina. So, wewe ambao uko hapo, unanyima mme wako tendo la ndoa. Sure. Wewe na kwambia ya kwamba, jifunze. Jifunze kumpe mme wako. Na umpe vizuri, usimpe madhogodhanyo. Kama ni service, peana legit. Legit service. Kesho ni valentine. Kesho ni valentine. 
kesho ni Valentine. Uvulia mume wako hizo nguo vizuri, usivue tumba. Enda uvae vizuri, tunguo tuzuri, tu sexy, tu bwana yako aone vizuri hizi kazi. Kazi za bedroom hazitaki mtu ameboweka. Zinataka mtu mwenye ana energy, mm -hmm. mwanamke mwenye anapendeza. Oga vizuri na wanawake waoge kila sehemu. Usije ukabo mume wako maybe anataka kulamba mahali hawezi lamba. Mwanaume wewe ambaye uko na jasho unakuwa aki, mchafu unakuwa mchafu yao. unataka ulambwe na nani aki wewe mwenyewe hii mlambano <laughs> mtakitaka kulambwa ama akitaka hata lips zake zilambwe aoge a brush meno na brush yuko kwingine si ni ukweli e, tendo la ndoa litaki uchafu ukiinama hivi ukupate uchafu unasikia tu pissed off sababu nilikuwa nilikuwa nimeolewa ndo sababu najua na kitu cha kwanza mimi ufunza watu kila siku kwa facebook tendo la ndoa ni nini mimi nafunza watu pale kwa facebook kila siku mimi ni doctor wa love kila saa saba ya mchana na kuanga pale na, na wapakulia e, naambia wanaume kama unapenda bibi yako tunza bibi yako take care of your wife take care of your wife Wacha kuona wanawake pale nje mtaani wanatembea wakiwa wa rembo unafuatana na wao unasahau ile bibi yako kumtengeneza kama ni make up paka bibi yako mpeleke saloon kama unaona bibi yako amesahau sahau kwa sababu amekuwa housewife juu ya kuzaa mpeleke boutique mwambie nataka uvae hii nguo ndo napendezwa nayo kama we ni mwanaume mke mwanaume wacha kusema bibi yangu mchafu muoshe mpeleke bathroom muoshe mfunze kuoga mfunze mahali unataka pakue pa safi Si ni ukweli. Si ni kufunzana ndoa ni kuelewana. Si yati kuacha mtu hapo surprised, si kuacha mtu hapo hivyo abraft. Usiache mume wako abraft. Usiache bibi yako abraft. Change what it can be changed. Yes. Na kama unapiganga bibi yako, mwambie ni nini namfanya umpige. A change. Usiwe unapiga mwanamke. Mwanamke si wa kupigwa. Kwanza wanaume waheshimu wanawake. Ukiheshimu bibi yako, tendo la ndoa linakuwa vizuri linakuwa pisifu, unapewa vizuri unapewa vizuri mpaka unamwaga unasikia vizuri mm -hmm. unajua tendo la ndoa usipomwaga kama mwanamke unasumbuka the whole day mm -hmm. unajua wanaume hawajui hivyo sisi wanawake tusipofanywa vizuri sex tunasumbukanga the whole day hiyo madhogodhani kutushikashika na kutuacha makwiki hizo mm -hmm. Aa, kwa wanawake sisi makwiki haziapi mm -hmm. kwa wanaume hawazaidia lakini kwetu haitusaidia hata kidogo mm -hmm. tendo la ndoa lifanywe vizuri na make sure mpenzi wako ameridhika hii time ya valentine Yes. Okay. Now mm. if it happens, bring to mm -hmm. a proposition to mwingine kesho. In Ita case a proposition to mwingine uwezi sukuma mtu kukupenda na uwezi sukuma mtu mkae na yeye. Na nitaenda mpaka harusi na akiniita MC nitakuwa pale, akiniita niimbe nitakuwa pale nitaimba kwa sababu roho ishapenda ichapenda. Yes. Na inakuwaje unampenda ringtone na venye na vitu kwa vingi kweli. Watu wanasema ringtone ni controversial sana. Ana mdomo sana. Mi najua kwamba tukioana ata tone down. Hiyo ni, ni obvious. Hatuwezi kawa mama wawili kwa nyumba. Lazima mmoja a tone down. Niachwe nikiongea kwa sababu mimi ndio mama yao. Yes. Na kizungu utamfunza? Ah, kizungu nitamfunza. Si tutafunzana, si wote ngombalo. Kizungu inakuja na meli nilisikia hivyo haijafika ukambani. Si wote tutafunzana. Uh -huh. Tutafunzana. Uh -huh. Na alafu ndoa sio kizungu. Uh -huh. Ndoa ni mapocho pocho, ndoa ni kupendana na ndoa ni kuelekezana na kupendana tu. Eh. Okay. Mm. Kioko, unako ukienda wapi? Eh, ki, kioko is, leo amekuwa kama There is kama... something I'm taking care. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, eh, atuki tumalizie, malizie kuna mahali kuna shida. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Tumaliza hata ama. Tumaliza. Nimefurahi kukuona Eve Mwigai. Nimekuwa nikiona unabidi sana. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are meeting for the first time. Eh, yeah. uh, Eve Mwigai nimekupenda sana. Wewe ni mwanarika ambaye umepea wana youth changamoto. Umewapatia bidii. Umewafanya waanze kujua uh, kuwakad. Mm -hmm. Wengi ya wako wanajua YouTube inalipa. Sasa ina wana wengi hapa wamekuwa ma YouTuber. Nimefurahi kwa sababu wewe ume, umekuwa kiongozi kwa YouTube. Okay. Na uka, ukatia moyo kina Kioko naona Kioko amepata subscribers wengi. Sasa si leo uambie watu wa page 60 subscribers. Nifike 100k subscribers. Sawa <laughs> sawa. Okay. So, so. so guys, uh, kama huja subscribe kwa Justina. What are you waiting for? The link is down below. Get there you subscribe kwa Madam 2020. Tukingoja na tupangia nini huu mwaka 2022. Yes, 2022 ni kwa na collabo mingi zinakuja kwanza nimefanya collabo na, na Sasha Kenya wa New Jersey naomba watu waende wa watch hizo collabo mbili na nitafanya collabo mingi sana na wasanii tofauti wa kutoka international level okay. mm -hmm. yes na hata pia wa hapa Kenya okay. eh, so. nimefurahi sana kukuona Eve na Kioko na kila mtu ambaye amekuja hapa na pia kuona Trevor mm -hmm. na waona tu kwa mtandao mm -hmm.
<laughs> lakini leo nimeweza kuwaona na ninaona mnapendana sana happy valentine to the eve mwigai and uh, Trevor god bless you so much for the hard work you put through najua kwanza haikuwa inalipa lakini sasa naona inawalipa mpaka mnaenda out na furai nikiwaona mmeenda out date na furai sana naona mungu anaweza leta amani so tunaombea pia kioko apate msichana uko na yeye uko na mtu sema chapa ilale tumalize chapa ilale madam spangwingwi nipeeni events kwa namba ya 0729524996 ukiwa na event road show ni ite nitachapa ilale yani nitafanya vizuri kazi chapa yes ilale. ukiwa na unataka nikuimbie wimbo pia 0729524996 hiyo ni namba yangu ya kazi ukitaka nikudesignie vazi kama hili ni 0729524996 uni text nitakupigia god bless you so much naomba mkuje kwa shop yangu ni wape manguo ni washonee na nitashonea hivi muigai na Trevor na ninajua mtawaona vile watakuwa mengara God bless you so much. Thank I think you. I need to do all YouTubers as costume everybody. Yes. Ah, thank you, Sana. Okay.